Hi, this is David Tierney of Designs by Tierney. I'd like to do a short tutorial here on how to add an image to a Concrete 5 based website. So we're going to start out, here we are on a, we're logged in, so we've got our edit bar up top. Let's go ahead and navigate to a page. We're going to enter into edit mode. I'm going to go down here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image to the right side of this paragraph. So I'm going to click on the box, click edit mode. I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of the paragraph, which is where I would want to put it, whether I want to put the image over here on the right side or on the left side of the paragraph, because I'm going to format it later. So the best place usually is to put your cursor at the beginning of a paragraph, because you're generally wanting it to be flush up near the top. I'm going to hit Add Image. And then you have a choice to either select an image that is already in your file manager or to browse and select one image and upload it. Or you can use this blue button if you have a bunch of images you want to upload. Let's say you've got 10 images and it's much faster to just click the this Upload Multiple button and then you can select a whole bunch of images that you can upload. In this case, we're just going to add one image. Uh, so I'm going to click on the Browse button. And here I'm going to select an image in my browser. Hit open. And then we've selected it, and now we just need to hit the Upload File button. You can see that it's uploading. It shows a little dotted thing. It uploaded pretty quickly. And this just shows you that it's complete, gives you all the details for your file. If you want to change the title, the description, and the tags, you can click on these links and it'll allow you to edit those three fields. It shows you a preview of your image. We're going to hit continue, close out of that box, and then our image pops up here. It's the most recent one. And then you can just highlight over the, the thumbnail of the image you want to add. Click once on it and it'll give you all of these options and you're going to click on choose. And then there, there it is. So it inserts it into your what you see is what you get editor, right where we had the cursor. And now I want to format it. So I'm going to click again on it. And I'm going to click on the icon here for editing an image. I'm going to go over here to appearance. There's three options. And here it says alignment and not set. I'm going to click on the down arrow and I'm going to select right and that's going to move it over to the right side just like this little diagram shows you what it's going to look like. If it was on the left it would move over there and we're going to put it on the right and if you want to put some space on uh, the right and the left side you can put a number here put the number five and vertical space means space above and below we're going to leave that blank and now we're going to click scroll down a little bit here and click on update and now we can see the images over where we want. Now another way that you could possibly format it, depending on how your programmer set up your website, sometimes custom styles can be added, and then you would just click on the style here, uh, this and or this drop-down arrow, and some, some options will come down. When I program websites for clients, sometimes I put in styles there, such as a line right or a line left, and that allows it to be customized a little bit more specifically for how I'd like it to look on that website. And uh, since there's no styles, when I click here, nothing happens, but it would be similar to clicking here over paragraph or font size. It gives you the options. You go down and select the option you want. So that would might be another option. But in this case, because that hasn't been done, we go ahead and put our image there. We're done. We're going to click uh, Save. And there's our image. One other thing you can do if you're in edit mode and you want to change the size of the image, Again, you'd click on the Edit Image icon after selecting the image. Go to Appearance, and you can collect, change the dimensions right here. So this picture is 250 by 300 pixels, being 250 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall. With this constrained proportions ticked, if I change this, let's say to make it smaller, make it 150 pixels wide, it will automatically adjust the height of it uh, accordingly, according to the, the dimensions. So now we're going to select update and it made the image smaller. Maybe it fits the space a little bit better. I'm done. Whoop, that's not actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to publish my edits. And there we go, there's our image. And that's it.
Thanks for watching.